Mankind's greatest achievements are breathtaking. Good thing you're a go for landing, over. Putting a man on the moon. Unlocking the secrets of the atom. Transplanting an organ to save a life. But these all pale when compared to perhaps the most remarkable creation of all. Our own living, breathing human body. We're about to take a journey that will chart our body's achievements from birth to death. The whole idea that when you age, you're going downhill is absolutely wrong. Reveal the extraordinary feats it performs every day. It's a wonderful machine, unparalleled. And change the way we think about ourselves forever. What's, what's fantastic about the body is that all the time it's um, replacing itself. This is the amazing life story of our body in numbers. From even before we're born, our body is racking up some pretty incredible achievements. Effortless feats that we're largely unaware of. And as we grow up, our unique DNA is continually defining who we are and what we will become. It's a truly extraordinary blueprint. DNA is a code. It's the famous double helix. And every DNA molecule has got 3,000 million units of information in it. So it's pretty remarkable stuff. And this is just the start. Examine the life of a typical person, and the statistics generated reveal some astonishing truths about the human body. But we're not just going to tell you about them. We're going to show you, using never-before-seen images designed to lay bare some of our most spectacular capabilities. So let's start with a really basic question. What are we made of? According to the rhyme, it's slugs and snails and puppy dog tails if you're a boy, or sugar and spice and everything nice if you're a girl. In reality, most of our body is actually made of this. Water. It's in our blood. It's in every cell in our body. And it makes up about 70% of our mass. It's so important, and we use so much of it, that without a constant supply of fresh water, we collapse within a matter of days. But what about the rest of our body? What are its vital ingredients? The truth is, each of us contains an extraordinary mixture of different chemicals. And if you try to write down all the proteins, fats, alcohols and acids that make up, say, little O gene here, it would take months. But there's an easier way of thinking about the components of his body. By comparing it to the mud pie he's making. Both are made up of chemical elements the building blocks of matter. And virtually all the elements that make up Ogin can also be found in his mud pie. In fact, one of the most essential building blocks of life, common both to Ogin and his mud pie, can also be found in a simple pencil. It's carbon. A key element in soil, in our body, and in the graphite core of Ogin's sister's pencil. But how much carbon do we actually contain? In fact, if you totaled up all the carbon in our body, it would weigh in at 14 kilograms, enough to fill 9,000 pencils, which would make a pretty big pencil case. That carbon is used as the basis for virtually every cell in our body. It's what makes us organic. But the link between our body and Ogene's mud pie doesn't stop here. Another key ingredient links it with toothpaste, cheese, eggshells and the blackboard at school. Without calcium, we'd all be just blubbery blobs, as it's a key constituent of our skeleton. A lack of it can lead to osteoporosis or brittle bones, which is sadly a condition that around 3 million people in the UK suffer from. The average skeleton weighs in at about 13 and a half kilograms, 
and each of us contains just over one kilogram of calcium. Enough to make 266 sticks of chalk. It's a vital element in our body. But it's not the only one that gives our skeleton its strength. Bones, very strong. It's as light as wood, as strong as steel. And it does that primarily through its shape and through its, the material that it's actually consisting of, which is mostly calcium and phosphorus. Phosphorus is just as important to our frame as calcium. And it's an important component in the chemicals that release energy around our body. Since it's found in match heads, you could say phosphorus gives us our spark. Even so, you might be surprised to find that each of us contains about 780 grams of the stuff. Enough to make 2,200 match heads. So how are we doing with our mud pie? Take the elements we've mentioned. Carbon, calcium, phosphorus, and add the hydrogen and oxygen in water, along with a dash of the nitrogen from the air, and we find that the majority of the elements in the mud pie make up a whopping 99% of the mass of our body. So, what kind of oddball mix of elements might be in that last 1%? Magnesium, because it's in my blood, and um, iron as well. A little bit of arsenic. <laughs> Titanium. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Lead. Mercury. Silver. Definitely silver. Gold. I wish I was made of gold. <laughs> and more gold. <laughs> Incredibly, all these elements can be found in our body. As can a minuscule amount of uranium. Although, thankfully, not the kind found in a nuclear bomb. And all these elements, some present in the smallest quantity, are essential to the way our body works. Take one example. Zinc. You can find it in these alkaline batteries. And it's present in this boy's fast-growing brain. It's one of the metals that enables it to generate electrical signals, essential to the brain's operation. There's just a couple of grams in our body, less than there is in these batteries, but it's still a key ingredient. Distributed around our brain and in more than 3,000 of the proteins in our body, the amount is crucial. Too much would poison our system. But a lack of zinc could lead to diarrhoea, possible anorexia, progressive blindness and hair loss. And the same is true of many of the rare elements in our body. It's known now that some of these deficiencies of trace elements, manganese, selenium and zinc, can cause specific forms of, of disease and organ dysfunction. It's clear that our body contains an amazing cocktail of different elements each one performing a vital role. But what would happen if we just lumped all these elements together? Well, given that phosphorus and hydrogen are extremely combustible in their raw state, what you'd get would be this. So, there's obviously more to us than just the elements we contain. It's the unique way they go together that make us who we are and allow us to do the things we do. And speaking of things we do, there is one activity we spend nearly a third of our lives on. But the real question is why? 